you haven't done so already, please pause the video and read the question before proceeding. This is a classic one-dimensional motion question, and often the best way to approach such questions is to organize the given information into a table that looks like the following. And what we can do is go ahead and plug the given information into this table. The initial velocity of the object was given as 12 centimeters per second in the positive direction, so we have positive 12 here. The final velocity was not given to us, so we'll leave that blank. We're trying to calculate the acceleration, so we'll also leave that blank and put a question mark there to remind us that's what we're looking for. The time of the object's motion was two seconds, and the displacement is given to us, but not directly. We just have to remember that displacement is the final position minus the initial position, and both those positions were give, given to us, so we can go ahead and plug those in. The next step is to pick an equation from kinematics that includes our knowns as well as what we're looking for. So let's take a look at those equations. And if you study those equations for long enough, you should be able to pick the one that contains the four parameters that we circled on this side. And so this equation here turns out to be the winner. So we'll come over here and we'll fill in all the given information. Notice that in plugging in the given information, I have excluded the units, which is often helpful because the units can sometimes clutter the look of the equation. So with a little bit of simple algebra, we're going to be able to solve for the unknown acceleration. And if you were successful in doing so, you should obtain a result of negative 16 centimeters per second. If you have any trouble with that algebra, please let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to respond.